Hello, I'm Dr. Sam, and today I want to talk about TENS unit for migraine. Specifically, I'm going to talk about this device right here, the Hetaderm 2, which is actually supported by a randomized control trial. So I'll talk about the randomized control, control trial first and the details for that, and then I'll demonstrate how, to, how this device is used. So for the randomized control trial, it was a study done in 2020 um, in the emergency department of a hospital for those that came in with a migraine attack. So they took 78 participants and then divided them in half. Um, half received the actual TENS unit treatment, this hetaderm device here, and the other half received a sham device that looked the same but didn't actually provide the electrical stimulation needed for treatment. What they found in the study is that those that received the actual TENS unit treatment for the hetaderm actually saw a significant decrease in their pain um, up to two hours afterwards. What was also important for the study is that they looked at medication use required to help abort or decrease their pain, and those that received the hetaderm didn't require additional medication two hours after the initial TENS unit treatment. So here's the device, and I'll explain a little bit more as I go along. So open the case, and it opens up. So the, ca the case itself has the actual device here, which will attach to the electrode. It has a head pad to make sure the electrode stays to your head. A pack, the, this case actually comes with three, three electrodes itself. And then cleansing pads to make sure to wash off your forehead if it's oily or sweaty beforehand. So here I'll demonstrate what it looks like. I'll put on a device real fast. Um, so here's what a, the electrode pad looks like. I'll kind of take it off. How you, want to pl how you would place it on is about one, just one finger above the, the, the eyebrows. So right about there, right in the middle of the forehead. So that's what it looks like. It's nice and sticky to my forehead. And then I'm gonna take the device and just attach it. There's two little magnets on the back that will help give the um, electrical stimulation to the forehead. So what I do to turn this on is then I'm gonna hold it for two seconds and wait for it to buzz. So now it's buzzed twice. That let me know that the device is on. Right now I don't feel the device working at all. Uh, so I need to increase the setting for it to make sure it's intense enough for me to feel the stimulation. So I'll press it one time. I'll feel it go up. It'll beep. Okay, I still don't feel it, so I'm going to go up again. This is setting two. I still don't really feel anything. Let's go to setting three. I'm starting to feel a little buzz, but very barely noticeable. So let me go to setting four. So now I'm feeling a stronger setting. I can feel it buzzing through my forehead right, right in this area. Uh, let me see if I can go up one more. All right, so the setting five is a little bit too intense for me, so I'm going to turn it down. So what I would do to turn it down is two clicks. One, two. Good. Now it's back down to setting four. I can feel it buzzing. It's strong but tolerable. It's a moderate sensation of like a little tingles right across my forehead. So that's about how I want to set up this device if I was using it for myself to treat migraine. What I would do now is then go lay down. This device has a 20 minute timer set up. So as it works it continuously, after 20 minutes, it will shut off. So you don't have to actually time it or shut it off yourself. If as you, now with these electrodes, the electrodes can be used multiple times. I think it's up to 20, but I forget specifically. Um, but sometimes as you use electro pads, as my experience with using other TENS devices, the ends kind of start wearing away and they don't stick as well. So what is nice, the Hetoderm also provides a head strap to make sure you it can stay on. So I'll put this on real fast. So you can see what it looks like right there. So that makes sure that it stays right on your forehead and doesn't move. Um, now I need to be careful taking this off because it can take off the electro pad if I'm not careful. And I don't want to do that because I'm in the middle of a treatment. Good. So if I'm actually just going to turn it off, I don't want to use this right now. I would just hold the button for it to turn off itself. I'm going to hold it until it buzzes again to let me know that the device is off. All right, so now I don't feel any buzzing. The device is off. I can remove it from its magnet connection and put it back in the device itself. And then I would take off the electrode. I'm going to put it back on its um, strip here because this is a reusable device. And what's nice is that the back of this comes out and there's a mat an electrode storage. So if I know the one that I'm using. I can keep on the back here put this back on top, and now I know what device that I'm using as well, right? Um, so that's a, it's a pretty cool device. It's backed up by a randomized controlled trial. Um, and the, again, the name of it is the Hetaderm 2. Um, it's a pretty good device. It, it has the appropriate electrical stimulation. 
Um, if this is something that you're interested in, you can look at the description below for a link to their website for the device. But do make sure that if this is something you're interested in and you think might help you, uh, make sure you do talk to your doctor about using it because there are some contraindications for using it and it's not right for everybody. So like some contraindications would be implanted devices in the head or the face, especially if they're metallic, um, any acute inflammation, if you have a history of meningitis, um, if you've had head or neck or jaw trauma, that might not be an appropriate use of this device. And then if you have any defibrillator device, whether it's internal or external, it's definitely not appropriate to use this device. Um, definitely let me know in the comments below if this is something you've used before, is this something you're interested in using, um, or if there's other devices that you're interested in me demonstrating um, for their effectiveness for treating migraine disorders.